Hey, Caleb Danzi here with Danzi Design Build, and today I wanted to give you guys uh, another update on our basement walkout and RV pad that we're building. And uh, we just got the footings poured, and so I wanted to show you guys what this looks like here with the footings ready to go and ready to get the wall framing, or not framing, wall uh, forms set up and the rebar grids going. So we're just before that stage in the process and wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So let's check it out. This is the basement walkout portion over here. And basically this is the new wall that we're putting in, the new footing that we've got. And this is gonna hold, tie in where the, for the stairs here. So we've already got the stairs marked out on this wall and uh, put another foundation wall here on top of these footings. And then we'll, we'll look this way and show these dead men walls here and if you remember from our other video there's a lot of rebar in here to reinforce that here we have the these we call them j bars and uh, they're 30 inches long and then they bend over six inches there's they're an l piece and they go down inside the footings to tie the footing onto the f foundation wall and connect that there so that's what we have here. And then typically they're not this close together. They're usually farther apart, but on this one we're doing them one foot for engineering. That's what's required here. So here we have the dead men and we've snapped these lines here to indicate where the actual foundation wall center is gonna, gonna go. And so, actually it's not the center, I'm sorry. The rebar's in the center and the, the, the line is just off center, four inches. So that'll allow for an eight inch wall, four inches on each side of the rebar. So that red line is exactly where the outside of the wall is gonna be. And there we go. So we have our footings in. We're ready to get putting in the, the foundation rebar and the forming. So I'll make another video on that and show you guys how that goes. If you're looking for any help on getting your basement finished or doing a basement walkout or basement entrance, you can feel free to give us a call. Reach us on our website, danzydesignbuild.com. And we will reach right back out to you, see how we can best help you with what you're looking to have done. Thanks. All right, so now we're inside here and I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the paint prep that we're doing. And so um, basically tomorrow we're, we're gonna be spraying the trim and priming the casings with an oil-based primer to lock in and seal off the, the wood from the the rest of the layers of paint that we're gonna put on. So anyways, wanted to show you guys some of this and here, let's take a look. All right, so here we have our casings and we've used a, a special kind of filler here that doesn't shrink after it's sanded. So when we get done priming this, that primer will just go right on here and these nail holes and imperfections won't be visible. So here, the finished carpenters, they weren't able to get these to line up perfectly. And so what we've done here is, is sanded this down and filled it in. And so that'll look real nice after we're done painting. Here, it was a little bit worse on the carpentry. And so we, we use some Bondo here. It's a two-part chemical that when you mix them together, they harden very hard and that'll, that will leave us with a really smooth finish there. We can paint right on top of with our primers and other other coats of paint. So this casing is going to turn out really well. One other thing is down here on the on the corners of these baseboards, it's the same thing. We've got some cracks here that were filled in with Bondo, sanded down all the way to where the primer that comes from the factory was is now gone. So that oil based primer is really going to help smooth all these faces together and make a seamless look and texture 
to the paint when it's done. So next thing that I wanted to show you is the, the storage room. In here we're going to be doing a semi-gloss finish on the, t on the paint so that it's an extra, it's harder and will wear better for storage because storage rooms take a little bit more abuse. And so that will really help this room wear better. Here in the bathroom, we're, we're also going to be doing a, just a single tone. And the reason behind that is because it's a, it's, it's a humid environment. And what we're gonna do here is add a, a uh, additive for the, the paint. And this additive is uh, mildew treatment. And so basically, we're going to be ensuring that that any of this walls that get humid when we're when we're using the restroom, we're using the shower, got a lot of steam and humidity. Those things, you know, won't allow th this additive won't allow the the mold and mildews to grow in the bathroom. So really cool, really cool there on the the paint that we're we're going to be putting on on those walls. Here in the bathroom or bedroom here, we're going to be doing three tone again. So the ceiling, the walls, and the trims are all gonna be a different type of paint. We're gonna do flat white on the ceiling and then a gray on the walls, a very, very light gray, and then a semi-gloss white on the trim and casings. So that's what we're doing here. Also, these baseboards come in 16 foot lengths it's pretty standard and so every once in a while you'll have a seam and here we've Mark's done a great job but what we've done here is smoothed this out again with some Bondo and sanded that down so that this seam right here is going to be completely invisible when we get done painting that so that'll turn out very very nicely here in the bathroom or sorry I keep saying the bathroom here in the closet, it's the we're going to do a single tone paint as well. Getting getting crazy with it and painting the shelves different color than the wall it gets really messy in there, very time consuming. And at the end of the day, it's just a closet. It's not going to be anything that people are too excited to see. So we've got all these things caulked and ready to go. As far as the caulk goes. It's important to use a really good caulk. This is a 45 year caulk. And basically how they grade the caulk is, is by the quality of the ingredients. To break it down and kind of simplify it, each caulk, it consists of clays, water, and uh, latex. So the latex is what you want because it's gonna allow it to stretch and move as the building ages. So the more latex you have in the caulk, the better it's gonna turn out and the longer it's gonna last and look good. Some of these cheaper caulks that are out there, pretty much straight clay and very little latex. And so you get what you pay for. It's a few dollars more. I mean, typically these are gonna cost around $2 for the cheap ones. And then these ones can get up to six or $7 a tube. So you do pay more money up front on the caulk, but it's gonna last and you're gonna get what you pay for it as, as far as that goes. And really with any paint products, paints included, primers, additives, all the way down. So we're really setting ourselves up here for a really good paint job that will last a very long time and be very beautiful. And the last thing I wanted to mention was this HVAC run here where we've framed this down and put drywall around the HVAC ductwork that's up in there. And here we're gonna paint the ceiling, the flat white, the wall, the flat white here on the HVAC duct, and then the ceiling underneath the HVAC duct again with the flat white, all three with one color. So that will avoid drawing your eye to that little strip if we had painted this, or if we would paint this, that gray color of the walls, it would look funny. So. We don't want to draw attention to the HVAC ducts. We just kind of want to let them be there and, and not have the attention drawn to them. So that's how we're prepping for this uh, paint.
paint job here. It's gonna turn out nice and I'm really excited for it. So if you are looking to finish your basement, you can reach us at danzydesignbuild.com. Check us out on our website and uh, you can reach out to us there. We do basements and basement finishes, basement finishing, remodeling basements, adding kitchens and basements, and all those sort of things. So you can reach us on our website, danzydesignbuild.com. We'll reach right back out to you. We're excited to work with you and see how we can help you with your basement. So thanks, look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.